Hill. I'm Katil Feltz and we're broadcasting this morning from the downtown square. A little bit of mist and some rain possibly in the air, but we'll just move right through and be thankful for the rain because we certainly need it as the summer wears on. Coming up on our show this morning, Gainesville Mayor Pro Tem Ruth Bruner is going to join us with some very good news uh, for the city and all the projects that are taking place in our community. Certainly you've seen some of those. We're going to take you out to uh, Lake Lanier and meet some members of the Lanier Canoe Kayak Club here who are going to talk about some events that are taking place on the lake uh, very soon and in the next couple of months as well. Cindy Reed is here from Keep All Beautiful this morning. We're also going to give you some important information about a project that is taking place right on Jesse Jewell. I'm sure you've seen that. You've wondered what's going on. But joining me now is Mayor Pro Tem, Ms. Bruner. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. We're so glad to have you this morning. Thank you. I always have to say every month because it continues to grow in the background that we are looking at an almost completed parking deck. We are and it's, it's, it's just been great to see it go up so quickly and so smoothly and with, that, with pretty few disruptions in traffic and parking I think and so we're hoping it's going to be through in about a month. And all we need are a bunch of people downtown to fill it up, That's don't right. We? That's right. It's going to be really a big addition to parking downtown. We had some really good news uh, recently with a vote from the Gainesville City School Board on the Tax Allocation District. Tell us what that's going to mean for the city. Well, it's going to mean a lot, and we were very relieved that they did pass the TAD. It's a tax allocation district, which means that we can fund, um, help, help fund projects in blighted areas that would probably not happen if we didn't have that kind of incentive for developers. So so we can uh, defer future taxes um, and then use that money to, buy, to get bonds to help developers uh, develop the infrastructure for those projects. And now the area that we're mostly concerned about right now is just a few streets over. Right, in Midtown. And we're looking in the next, hopefully, week or two to get a uh, TAD application from City View developers who are going to do a wonderful project over um, in City View Plaza where the police department and fire department currently are. And that's going to be um, a great addition to Gainesville. It's hard to even believe what we, it's going to be. We see those. We see the signs of the the two. I believe it's nine story buildings, and it it, it really it, is hard to believe that that's going to happen in downtown Gainesville. It is. Gainesville. It's going to be two nine story um, office towers, a thirteen story hotel. Um, a thousand parking places and a parking deck and then we're going to be building a bridge over Jesse Jewell to connect from the Mountain Center over to the new project which will be a pedestrian bridge which is going to be a great addition to get people from the square and from downtown Gainesville just over to Midtown to uh, open up that retail restaurant market, you know, hotel market over there. It will be a safer way to get over there. So we're real excited about the TAD and the um, and I think it's going to be a real win-win for the school system as in the future we'll get so many more uh, property taxes from that kind of development without any real um, uh, children for the school system. So I think it's going to be a win for the city, the taxpayers, and the, uh, of course the students in the schools. Another project uh, that we have been working on since the year 2000 that is really starting to come to fruition is the Greenway that, that really that starts in the Midtown area. Uh, this week they started moving some dirt for that. Finally. It's been it's years trying to get that CSX Railway property, but now CSX Railway is cleaning up some soil contamination that they had on their maintenance yard. It's over near Grove Street, and that's supposed to be finished in about a week. And then the EPD has to give us a clean bill of health that we can go forward. Then we'll close the deal finally, buy the 15 acres of property, and then we can immediately start construction of our agreement. We have some money that's been budgeted in previous years and has been held for that purpose uh, to start building that greenway. And it's going to be great to connect the square down to the depot. Um, with it with the Greenway. Well it really is going to be a great project and we have it has been going on since 2000 so yeah. it takes a it takes a long takes time a long some time for some of these projects mm -hmm. to come together. It does, especially when you're working with apparently railroads it's hard to get get anything done quickly. Well we are so glad to see all the good things that are going on in the community square kind of quiet it's very early in the morning <laughs> here on Good Morning Gainesville but uh, things will be moving just want to invite everybody to uh, please come downtown as a as the tough times in the economy continue there's nothing like I think shopping at home we it's, can't say that enough. That's exactly right shop at home there's some great clothing stores on the square, great gift stores, restaurants, so please come down to the square and shop. Plenty of parking um, and I just think people will have a great time. Once again I'd like to thank Gainesville Mayor Pro Tem Ruth Bruner for joining us today. If you have a question of the Gainesville City Council you can give them a call at 770-535-6865. Joining me now two men who spend a lot of time out on Lake Lanier. We're going to meet in just a moment Mr. Gene Hanratty who's actually from Atlanta. But first we're going to start with Lauren Collins who is the president of the Lanier Canoe Kayak Club. Welcome to the show today. 
Thank you. Glad to be here. Is saying that you spend a lot of time on Lake Lanier an understatement? Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, besides work, that's about where I am. <laughs> you uh, are in the middle of a, a great big event out there. Tell us uh, what's going on. Well, we're in the midst of our Sprint National Championships. Uh, we've got several hundred athletes in town to uh, compete for national titles. And this just kind of fell in your lap a few weeks ago, didn't it? With about six weeks uh, before event, uh, the national governing body called us and let us know that the original venue that was supposed to host it uh, had some economic uh, issues and could not do so. So um, we've got a great group of people, and I tell you, the community has really come together to help us pull this off. And what usually takes about a year to plan. We've done in less than six weeks. It's amazing what we can do when we all get together. That's very is, true, isn't very it? True. And now, Gene, you actually came here this morning. Thank you for coming all the way from Atlanta. Oh, you're most welcome. So early in the morning. Explain to me. I know that you have a connection with our Dragon Boat Festival, but but tell our viewers what that's about. Well, we 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 have this Dragon Boat Festival. I've always referred to it as the the best hands-on cultural diversity event in the Southeast. And we used to conduct it at uh, Stone Mountain, but some number of years ago, and I was trying to remember, it's been eight or nine years ago, we came here, saw the facility up on Clark's Bridge Road, which of course being an Olympic venue, you'd, you'd expect it to be world class. And it is. It's been just a great venue for us, so we, we do this as a cultural event, which is part of my responsibilities in working for the Hong Kong government. Okay, and how many people are we going to see in town? Oh gosh, he grows every year. Last year, with the lease we had helping with uh, car control and people crossing the road and all, we estimated the crowd at 5,000. And a lot of them are participants and extended family, but then there are a lot that come for the show that we put on at our opening ceremonies, which features a lot of Asian, uh, different types of Asian acts. So quite a cultural event on the lake then, isn't totally. it? Totally. Totally. And when we say 5,000 people for our viewers, those, those are people who are eating in our restaurants, spending the night in our hotels. Indeed. So we're certainly glad yeah. to have that, that uh, push in the Gainesville, Hall yeah. County economy, if you will. We have uh, our cause for the event is breast cancer survivors. And as you talk about people that are coming in from out of town, we have six or seven teams at this point in time of 22 people each, plus extended family and friends coming in in the BCS category alone. So yeah, it does bring in quite a few people. And now when is that event going to be held? On Saturday the 12th of September. Okay, September 12th, so put that, put that on your calendar. Uh, as you talked just a moment ago, Lauren, about the Sprint National Championships that are taking place, um, can set the stage for us what is taking place out of the venue during the championships. Uh, during the championships, we've got um, uh, three basic uh, races that the athletes are competing in a 1,000 meter sprint, 500 meter sprint, and a 200 meter sprint. There's also distance races. And uh, then on Sunday we'll have our masters. Uh, they will be uh, competing as well. Lanier Canoe Kayak, um, <coughs> certainly an organization that has lasted many, many years. Uh, uh, started hearing about you during the Olympics or, or just after the Olympics, but you all have maintained with your organization, have been able to keep it going, so to speak, along with the rowing club out at, at Lake Lanier. What is it that keeps you all going? Well, um, a number of things. We've got a, a lot of good folks that get involved. Um, we've got good programs over there and uh, the community involvement. Uh, one of the things that we'd like to see